Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this look for you guys. It's this really dark black and green halo smoky eye. And today I'm actually going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Eye of the Storm eyeshadow palette. So this is the first product I've ever tried from Kylie Cosmetics. So I was really curious to see how it was and how it turned out on the eyes. So I am going to be using the palette for my eyes. So you guys are going to see that in this tutorial. And also I'm going to show you guys my swatches and review of the palette. So let's go into the swatches first. So here are the swatches of the 10 shadows in this palette. So this palette retails for $40, and there are a range of mattes and shimmers and two metallic shades. And that is all I'm going to say right now about the palette. You're going to have to stick around to the end of the tutorial to see my review on this palette. So if you guys want to stick around to see how I got this look using the Kylie Cosmetics Eye of the Storm eyeshadow palette, then just keep on watching. I'm going into Kylie Cosmetics Eye of the Storm eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Dreamcatcher. I'm picking the shadow up on my Sigma E40 Taper Blending Brush and I'm going to start running this through my crease just to act as my transition shade. Now going into Thunderstruck. Now switching over to my E38 Diffuse Crease Brush by Sigma and I'm running this shadow through my crease. And then just doing circular motions to start blending this out on this outer corner. Now picking up Whirlwind. I'm picking the shadow up on my Sigma E25 Blending Brush and I'm first patting this on this outer corner of my lid and then inner corner of my lid. I'm going to leave the center of my lid empty because I'm going to be applying another shadow. And now just to start blending this through the crease and bringing that through the middle as well of the crease, not the lid, all the way into this inner corner and then start blending that out doing circular motions again to blend this out on this outer corner. To darken up the look I'm picking up Stargaze so I wiped off that brush and now I'm picking up this shadow and just darkening up this entire look. I feel like that first shadow was a little more purple, so I want to get a little bit more of that black back into this look. So I'm applying it exactly where I applied that other shadow, first on the outer corner and then now blending this up through the crease. And then you can kind of wing it out just a little bit if you want. And then applying that on this inner corner. And then blending that through the crease. Now going back into my E38 and Thunderstruck, I'm going to apply this at that high point of my crease to blend everything out and bring back that kind of grayish mauve shadow. For the center of my lid, I'm picking up Cyclone. So I'm picking the shadow up on my finger and I'm going to apply this right in the center of my lid. And then what I'm going to do is tap that shadow over top of the outer and inner corner over that black shadow just to add a little bit of sparkle. I'm now picking up Sweet Storm and then tapping this right in the very center of my lid. This is just going to add a little bit of more dimension to the look and add that nice golden sheen to that green. For my lower lash then I'm first picking up Thunderstruck on my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush. And then picking up Stargaze and just really smoking this out and connecting it up to that crease shadow. And then picking up Cyclone on my E20 short shader brush and I'm just tapping that over top of this shadow on my lower lash line just to add that green sparkle. I'm now picking up Sweet Storm and then just highlighting the upper part of my inner corner. Ooh, that looks so pretty. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going into the Sigma Standout Eyes Gel Liner in Wicked. So I just dip the tip of my pencil into the liner and I'm just going to line my upper waterline and then lining my lower waterline. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes and today I'm going to be trying out these Esquito Lashes in Smoke and Fire. And that's the eye look done. So for my lips, I'm going to be trying out something new. All the shades looked so pretty and I'm really curious to see how they are. So this is the Buxom Vava Plump Liquid Lipstick in Taupe It Off. So they're called Liquid Lipsticks, but they're actually not drying and they're more of like a glossy finish. So I'm curious to see how they are. And they're supposed to be plumping, so let's see how they are. So 
So you do feel a little bit of a tingling sensation with this lip, so hopefully there's some nice plumping action going on. So now for my highlight, I actually really wanted to try out one of the shadows in this palette as a highlight. So I'm going to try out this shadow right here, which is Sweet Storm, and see how that is as my highlight. I feel like it looks really pretty on the inner corner, and I feel like it would look really interesting as a highlight as well. So. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to apply that on the high points of my cheek using my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. So that actually does not look bad. It has a really pretty gold reflect. It's not going to work on everyone's skin tone. It's kind of just going to work on really, really paler skin tones because it does have a very white base. So it already kind of looks really white on my skin, but that gold actually looks pretty cool. And that's it. This is the completed look of my Kylie Jenner Eye of the Storm Pressed Powder Palette Eyeshadow Look. I hope you guys enjoyed. So right off the bat, when I just opened the box, I was kind of wondering why the packaging of the palette is not the same, or at least similar to the outer box of the packaging. I thought that maybe at least it should have been navy, or at least have the name of the palette on the packaging somewhere, because there is no name of the palette on here at all. It just says Kylie Jenner on the front, and then it says Kylie Jenner pressed powder palette and then the names of the shadows on the back so it never says eye of the storm on the palette at all like I'm looking to see maybe I'm missing it but I examined it and it does not say that at all which I find a little weird so then when I opened it I actually thought it was much bigger when I saw it on Instagram on her website and when I ordered it I thought it was much bigger than what it is when I got it. So the shadows are actually much smaller than they appeared. It kind of looks a little confusing because I don't know why there's so many like purpley shades and then there's that green and yellow. I feel like these two shadows are kind of just thrown in there and I don't know. <laughs> I'm like kind of stuck in between. I don't know if I personally think it's worth $40 but some of the shadows are actually really pretty, like the green is actually really pretty. The black though, which is this stargaze shadow, the sparkle, there's no sparkle. Like I could blend that through my crease, I usually would never do that with a shadow that has sparkle in it, but all the sparkle fell out. And the matte shades are kind of chalky, so you do have to tap off the excess off your brush, but that's not like anything bad. <laughs> like I, I feel like I always tap off my brush anyway. These two shades right here, the metallic ones, are actually really pretty. So like the green, this one, and then the silver up here are really, really pretty. The purple also kind of disappointed me. That did not swatch well. Not, at least not like what I saw on her swatches on her Instagram and just floating around. So I'm kind of stuck. I can't say if I would get it again or not because some of the shadows are pretty, but I don't think it's worth $40. So basically that means like I wouldn't get it again. I mean, the look ended up looking really pretty. I'm excited to keep trying it out to see if I can create more looks using it. So if you guys do want another tutorial using this palette, definitely let me know. So if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box. And also a list of all the products that I use today along with brushes will be listed down below as always. So I hope you enjoyed this look and found this video somewhat helpful. And I think that should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!